Morning. Good morning. How are you? You guys had a good weekend. We were here uh, working. Um, Saturday we going to you know a morning scrimmage, obviously because of rain in the afternoon. We had had a, had a nice uh, night practice Sunday night. Day off yesterday, so uh, should be fresh today. Uh, got a good scrimmage in on Saturday. Happy with where we are. Um, saw some really good things. You know, saw some things obviously we need to clean up as always. Um, but we got 125 offense defensive plays and in another 30 special teams plays in. So you're talking about 155 total plays, uh, which I thought I was happy with that, number one. We got our reps in. We got what we needed. Um, got a good two minute at the end. Um, but I would say just the explosiveness of our offense in the passing game was there you know, in a big way. Um, so we've got to you know, shore things up defensively. Um, again, they've gotten really good at throwing the deep ball. Uh, Phil, Christian, and Nate all had big plays in, in the scrimmage as far as just big Big passes, uh, whatever they were, which I won't get into. But uh, um, you know, got to make plays on defense, and you know, defensively stop the run. Um, and uh, that's kind of what we do. So we know what we are, we know who we are, um, and uh, I was happy overall with where we are coming out of that scrimmage. Pat, how do you, how does, how's, how do you grade the, the progress that Phil has made to ad adapt to your offense? You know what? Uh, it's hard for me to grade it. I mean, I think that's a great question for Signetti. Um, you know, just from listening to Coach Signetti, he's kind of, you know, just way ahead of where he was, you know, when he was with them last. So uh, he's he's just. I know Coach Signetti's impressed. It's hard for me to compare. I can't say where he was, except, you know, I kicked he kicked our butt in 2020 uh, up there after we had a ball bounce off the upright. If anybody recalls that, um, I was there. You know, it makes me still sick, Jerry. I still, I don't remember any other play except that one. But. Uh, so can't sleep at night, um, but uh, you know, so it's hard for me to answer that where he is now. Hey, Coach Signetti, what is the difference between where he is now and where he was when you last took him? I think that's a great question. Are you still going through the learning curve with the safeties, these young guys? Yeah, kinda. I mean, I, you know, I, I look at it. You know, we talked about Javon and how good he's been, but really the guy that you know played really well in the, in the scrimmage was PJ O'Brien. So he stepped up and. It had a nice day back there, but Steph Hall's doing a nice job. I think you know he's making strides. Donovan McMillan's making strides, and Cruz Brookins is kind of sliding up into the depth chart as well at the safety position. How close is Brandon George to really uh, beating that middle linebacker? You know what, uh, Brandon's doing a nice job. So you know it's a it's a work in progress. Uh, to be be honest with you, at this point, uh, you know he's in that. You know I would put him in there as one of those four guys, one of the four starters uh, at linebacker. But you know we're only going to start three. So which ones are going to be? We'll figure out. You know when we get there, but. That's a, a daily, uh, a daily evaluation. Who was on the receiving end of some of those completed deep balls? Oh boy, uh, who was? You know, I tell you, um, you know, Bub obviously was on, you know, on a couple of them. Um, uh, Cha was on it, on one of them. Had a nice. It was really good to see because you, you think of him doing all the short stuff and getting the ball in his hands. He had a great uh, deep ball. Um, I'll probably tell you who's on the. You know, Jake had one yet. Jake had one at the end in a two-minute drill. Um, you know, whether the quarterback was sacked or not, everybody will have discussion on that. Um, there was a fourth down earlier where quarterback scrambled and, and did he get a first down or not? The head coach said it was a first down, so it was a first down. One of those deals, so maybe not gone through, but um, you know, there's all kinds of discussions there, but uh, it, was, it was a good day. Are you getting, uh, are, what have you seen from Bob as far as the consistency, the, the down to down consistency? I'll tell you right now, you know, we talk, you know, just receiver play, he's been very consistent. And you know, I'm going to go add into it special teams. I mean, that guy's been a gunner on our punt team. And right now, watching him run down on the punt team, I'm like, holy cow. Like, he's going to make himself some money if he can run down as a gunner. And he can consistently do that in a game on a punt team because uh, he's special right now. I, I just love his work ethic and everything he does. He's just an unbelievable kid. After Bub and Kanate, are there any receivers that are kind of setting themselves apart from the group? Yeah, um, you know, another deep ball, you know, Day Day Reynolds had one as well. Dejon Reynolds, uh, he had one as well, going back to the deep ball question. So, you know, he's done a nice job. But some of those young guys, man, he, you know, those guys better watch out. Kenny Johnson, is, Kenny Johnson had one. Kenny Johnson always has one. I forgot about him. Um, but he always has one. Kenny, Kenny is, is separating himself. Zion is separating himself a little bit, um, you know, from some of the other guys at this point, in my opinion. Um, and Jake's done a really good, solid job. Did you have any, uh, either this summer or this offseason, any walk-ons you put on scholarship? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. We wait till August usually to do that. I'm sorry if I missed this. Did you mention a winner in the scrimmage? A winner. The offense won the scrimmage. Um, and, again, I'll mention this. Um, you know, um, it's, a, it's a great question. Nobody wants to – you guys don't know – you don't care who wins or loses? Yeah, so the offense won the scrimmage. The offense won the scrimmage. Um, and um, – 
you know, it came down to the, you know, not the two minute, but came down to, you know, I always tell the guys, I don't care who wins or loses, but the offense didn't turn the ball over. You know, the threes had one quarterback center exchange. You know, we don't even count points with the threes. I don't know if you knew that, but just really ones and twos. We count their points and let the threes go play and not worry about giving up a TFL or, you know, you know we're losing the scrimmage because the threes turned it over. Um, but the ones had one turnover the entire scrimmage. And when you play, I mean, over 100 plays with the ones and twos and you have one turnover, it was a – might as well have been a punt. And it was MJ Demshire with one heck of an interception. It's an ESPN highlight. Did you catch the release of the AP poll yesterday? You know what, I didn't. I heard 32, but I didn't catch it. I didn't look and see who's in front of us, but I don't really care. Do you, do you like the chip on, having a chip on your shoulder? Yeah, you know, we always got to. If they ranked us 15th in the country, we'd still have you know a chip, so it doesn't matter. All right, walk through the stuff.